Hi everyone. Today let's see the topic on stone. So in this we are going to see what are the classification of stone, uses, properties, and test done on stone. Okay. So first of all, we all know that stone is a natural material. We get stone from breaking down of the rocks. So first we will see what are the classification of rocks. So rocks, it can be classified in three bases. The first one is geological classification. Next one is physical classification. And the third one is chemical classification. So first one is geological classification. It is based on the origin of the rock. So we can, based on geological classification, there are three types, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. So the first one is igneous rocks, the rocks, which are formed by the magma during the volcanic eruptions are called igneous rock. The examples of igneous rocks are granite and basalt. So granite is a familiar name. So we all have seen in superstar Rajinikanth's Padayapa movie. So that is an igneous rock. And the next one is sedimentary rock. So we have the word sediment. So these rocks are formed layer by layer due to the deposition of the small particles. So this type of rocks are called sedimentary rocks. The example of the sedimentary rocks are limestone and sandstone. And the third geological classification is metamorphic rock. So before studying about the metamorphic rock, you should know what is mean by metamorphism. See metamorphism, is nothing but changing the property of material from one form to another form. That is known as metamorphic rock, metamorphism. So metamorphic rock in the sense that will be a particular rock due to the ex external climatic condition and temperature, the property of rock changes to another form. So that is metamorphic rock. So the example of metamorphic rock is marble, slate and knees. This metamorphic rocks are formed from igneous or sedimentary rock. For example, the marble is formed from limestone and the knees is formed from the granite. Okay, so this is all about the geological classification. The next one is physical classification. So in physical classification, we have two. One is stratified rock, another one is unstratified rock. See, Stratified, we have a term called strata. Strata in the sense layer by layer. If you look into that rock, we can see the horizontal lines. So that rocks are known as stratified rock. So we can easily tell that this stratified rocks, most probably it will be from the sedimentary rocks because the sedimentary rocks are found by layer by layer. So that will be always a stratified rock. So the example of a stratified rock is limestone and sandstone. And the next one is unstratified rock. So in the rock in which we can't see any strata, that rocks are called unstratified rocks. So most probably the unstratified rocks will be of igneous rock, for example, granite. And another example is marble. The third classification is based on chemical, that is chemical classification. In this, we have three classification. First one is siliceous rock, argillaceous rock, and calcareous rock. So in a rock which have more silica content, that kind of rock is known as siliceous rock. So silica in the sense SiO2. So normally sandstone will have SiO2. So example of siliceous rock is sandstone and quartzite. And the next one is argillaceous rock. The rocks which have more amount of alumina are known as argillaceous rock. So the example of argillaceous rock is slate and coalin. And the third one is calcareous rock. As the name suggests, the rocks which have more composition of calcium, that is calcium oxide, CaO. So that is nothing but lime. So limestone is an example of calcareous rock. So limestone and marbles are an example of 
calcareous rock. So these are the three main classification. One is based on geology, another one is based on physical, and the third one is based on chemical. In geological, we have igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic. In physical, we have stratified and unstratified. In chemical, we have siliceous, argillaceous, and calcareous. Next, we will see what are the properties of a rock. So we have different properties like structure, hardness, toughness, heaviness, durability, porosity, fire resistance, and dressing. So first one is structure. So if you take a rock, by physical examination, we can see the structure. So the structure should be uniform. The structure should be uniform and it should be free from any holes, flaws, etc. And the second one, second property is hardness. So hardness in the sense, it should resist friction. So that is hardness. And the third one is toughness. Toughness in the sense, it should resist the vibration and load. And fourth one is heaviness. Heaviness in the sense, the weight of the rock should be more. So most probably, it is calculated with the help of specific gravity. Normally, the specific gravity of a good rock should be between 2.4 to 2.8. And the next one is durability. So durability in the sense, it should, it should last for a longer duration. So it should resist the climatic conditions and weathering. And the next one is porosity. The rock should not have any pores. If it is having any pores, it will absorb water and it will get cracked. The next one is fire resistance. The rock should resist the fire. And the final property of the rock is dressing. Dressing in the sense, it should be easy for carving. See the rock which have good property of dressing is used for making statues and all. So these are the properties of rocks. So next we will see uses of rocks. So rocks are used in road metals. For example, we are uh, constructing a road. In that we will use small, small rock stone pieces. So that is known as road metals. Next one is concrete aggregates. So in concrete, we will mix cement, fine aggregate and coarse aggregate. So this coarse aggregate is most probably of a stone. And the third one is structure exposed to seawater. We will use rock because it can resist well. And the fourth one is retaining wall. So to retain the soil from falling, we have a wall like structure with the help of rock that is known as retaining wall. Then rocks are used in railway ballast. For example, if you see the railway track, you will have a rail and below the rail you have the sleepers and below the sleepers you can see lots of stones. So that stone is known as ballast. And rocks Stones are used to make the buildings like Taj Mahal, Red Fort and Victoria Palace, etc. And test. So these are some of the tests which are done on rock. So first one is strength. Next one is attrition and abrasion. And the next one is hardness. Then we have durability. Then we have specific gravity. Then we have water absorption. Just it is more than sufficient if you know the name of the test. So first one is strength. So strength can be tested with the help of compression testing machine, shortly known as CTM. So what we do, we take a rock specimen, place it on the CTM machine and allow the rock to compress. And we can finally check at what load the rock breaks. So that will be the, before that point will be the compression strength of the rock. Next one is attrition and abrasion. What we'll check in this is, we have a cylindrical drum which will be rotating. So what we'll do, we'll take the 
stones put inside the drum and it will be rotating and we will check how much residue we are getting from the output so that with the help of that we will calculate the attrition and abrasion and next we have hardness so hardness can be tested in two ways so in sight we will do a knife scratching test we will take a knife scratch the stone and we will check whether the scratch is remaining on the stone or it is getting disappeared if it is getting disappeared the stone is harder if the scratch is there the stone is not that much harder and the next one is for uh, hardness we will use more scale so in that more scale we have hardness of 1 to 10 so how they will do is they will have different material for different hardness for one way they have different materials for two similarly for 10 they have a diamond so if we have a sample what they will do they will take the hardness material of one scratch the sample of the rock if rock is getting powdered it is less harder than first sample one then if they take another one two similarly three similarly four and they will check the hardness for example we'll take a sample and till four the sample is strong and the number four is getting radios then when we are doing the fifth one we are taking the fifth one and we are uh, scratching our rock at that time our sample drop is getting uh, getting abraded then our uh, hardness values next one is durability so durability what we will do we will take the rock put it in the acid solution which is mixed with the water and we will check whether the rock is strong or it is getting deteriorated and specific gravity we have to check whether it is between 2.4 to 2.8 and water absorption test this is the final test what we will do we will take a rock sample weigh the rock sample and uh, place it inside the cold water for 24 hours and then we again take it out check the weight and we will check how much water has been absorbed by the rock so this water absorption should be always less than 5% for the rock okay so this is all about the stone, what is the classification, what are the properties, what are the uses and what are the tests done on stones or we can call it as a rock. Okay. Okay. That's all for today. Thank you. And you can check one more thing. We have discussed three examples, right? The structures which are all made up of uh, rocks. So first one is Taj Mahal. Another one is Victoria Palace, another one is Red Fort. You can just check and tell me it is made up of what kind of stone. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you.